Hi, today we're going to talk about setting goals. Uh, and this is a big one because without setting any goals, you're not going to get anywhere in life. This is Money Wise with Rena Hicks where we create, grow and preserve our wealth. There's a story of a, a young man who some of us know, I don't know if you would know him, but he's an amazing, amazing, amazing achiever. His name is Daniel Adongo. And Daniel Adongo was born in Kenya. He was passionate about rugby. He grew up watching his brother play rugby and decided when at a young age, I want to be the best rugby player that ever existed. And so he started, by the time he was 17, he was playing for Kenya Harley Queens Club. When the average age of a Queens player let, not even Queens, club rugby player, was 24 and 25 years old. He was 17. During his time, I think during this year where he was 17, he decided, you know what, yes, this is great, but I, I want to reach for greater heights. And so he applied to the Sharks Academy in South Africa um, to go and learn how to play professional rugby even better. And he was accepted, and so he did fly to South Africa, and he uh, worked very hard while he was at the academy, and got himself accepted to the Blue Bulls eventually but the blue bulls the reason it's an important thing to say is because the blue bulls is actually the most dominant side uh rugby playing side in south africa actually they supply the largest number of rugby players to the Springboks. anyway so he played for the blue bulls did so well that he got noticed and uh an agent from from hong kong i think it was called the blue bulls got in touch with daniel and said to him daniel look i mean you're doing such a great job, would you consider playing for the NFL, the National Football League in America? And he was like, what? Yes, I love that. So this guy from Hong Kong calls Indianapolis Colts and talks to the manager and the manager says, yeah, sure. After he sent him a couple of pictures of this guy, which I hope you will see right now, he said, I definitely want to try him out. So he went to the States. He was flown to the US. They tried him out and they said, dude, we want to give you a shot. And so they said to him, after a couple of practice sessions, I think within two to three years, uh, you will play for the, the Indianapolis Colts. Daniel listened and said, huh, two to three years, that's an eternity. And he worked hard. Daniel trained two hours before the team came to play. He played and trained with the team for two hours when they appeared. And after the team left, he played for two more hours. And within less than one year, Daniel was playing for the Indianapolis Colts in the playoffs. Let me put this into perspective. It's very difficult for Americans to get into the NFL. Out of 100,000 high school going kids who play American football, only 215 of them actually make it into the NFL. Daniel was Kenyan. He had never played American football before. He lived in Kenya and played rugby in SA, but never ever had he played American football. He made it to the NFL. And I watched Daniel on an interview with Jeff Koinange when he came to Nairobi. I guess he was on holiday. And you know Jeff, you know, dramatic and all. And he asked him, how did you get there? I need to read this because I don't want to um, make any mistakes and I need to quote him well. He said, Daniel said, he studied the game, he pushed his body to the limit, took himself away from all distractions, he ate right and surrounded himself with positive energy and friends who would influence him positively. Daniel's parting shot was this, find what you're good at, keep working at it and work towards being phenomenal. And that's what got Daniel to where he did go to. He had a goal and he set the goal and he was clear about this goal and he attained it. Now that's the thing with goal setting. We have to visualize exactly what it is that we want to get and work at being phenomenal. And as you do that, you will achieve the goal that you will want 
to achieve. Thank you for watching that video. I hope it's helped you. If you have any questions, please do post them. Our contact details are below. Uh, and so do write to us on sema at moneywise.co.ke. And guess what? We have finally launched our book. My book is out. Moneywise, it's out and it's now officially available. You can actually buy it online on mymook.com. Uh, we'll post the link down so that you can see, but you can just log on to the website and search uh, the product or the, the merchant is Wajiku Limited and you'll be able to get money wise uh, available there. It can be delivered to you and if you prefer to pick up from the store you can do that and the information is on the website and you'll be able to do that. It's also available at Textbook Center, it's available at Keswick Bookshops uh, so do get yourself a copy. If you have a copy already buy it as a gift for a friend, somebody getting married, uh, it will help them. Uh, so thank you so much. Please do share the video, subscribe um, so that you get to know what else is, is coming up. We have some interesting things in store for you guys. Uh, so stay tuned. This is Rena Hicks with Moneywise, where we create, grow, and preserve wealth.